Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. We were fishing for questions uh, with the chat room earlier today. At, at the top, I think we had close to 180 people in the chat room. I'm not exactly sure why uh, the numbers had suddenly gone up in the past couple of days, but it's always good to see new and different names in here. You're always welcome at live.perillo.com. Yeah. Uh, so when I was throwing out and asking for questions, uh, users were just throwing them left and right. And one user who goes by the handle quads for life kept throwing out questions and finally came up with one that I thought was going to be a workable question for everybody. He asks, would you recommend having a fingerprint scanner on a laptop? And, uh, do I recommend it? Uh, yes and no. Yes, I'd recommend it because it's, it's an easier way of scanning your uh, identity into the laptop to log in rather than having to type in your password you just swipe your thumb and as long as you've already registered your thumb or finger as a fingerprint for specific access to the account then you'll be able to get in but do I recommend it in terms of security measure no I do not as a matter of fact I remember looking at the Microsoft store uh, they sell uh, hardware you know from Microsoft or their partners and in the section for fingerprint scanners, it was only 20 bucks in the Microsoft store, it was relatively cheap. I got in through a friend. Uh, it says, you know, you, warning, do not use this as a security device in a Microsoft store with a Microsoft product for fingerprint scanning. Uh, it's not secure. It, they can, they, the infamous they, the nefarious people out there can find a way around it. And in terms of using a fingerprint scanner as anything other than an easier way of logging in, uh, I wouldn't recommend it. So if it already comes with your laptop or device, sure, why not? But I wouldn't pay extra for it. I certainly wouldn't. It's it, Right now, it's more of a, um, ooh, look what I can do kind of thing than, uh, ooh, uh, no one's ever going to be able to break into Windows now because at its core, um, the operating system is is really uh, more vulnerable, more than the, the technology uh, integrated. Well, no, let me take that back. It could be an issue of the software related to the fingerprint scanning in conjunction with the hardware, in conjunction with the operating system. Bottom line, it's not ready yet. It's more of a toy, more of a fun thing uh, than a security device and mechanism. What you may need to think about uh, if you're concerned about security is encrypting your data. And this can be done in a variety of ways, depending on the kind of data you want to encrypt. Uh, I would research um, possible ways of encrypting all the data on your hard drive, so specifically encryption before the operating system uh, you know, loads the data or uh, locking down your hard drives and making sure that the data is encrypted and the only way to get into um, certain data or all the data that might be on your system having the, the full abilities to do so. Sometimes this can be done in conjunction with a USB key, um, you know, strong, strong, strong passwords. Uh, it may be in conjunction with another type of device that you might plug in to the machine um, that would, so if you didn't have one, you couldn't access the other basically. Uh, I've never gone through and encrypted uh, things on my hard drive on my laptop largely because I don't carry around sensitive information or information I would want anybody to see on my laptop. It's something to think about. Uh, some uh, people who work for large corporations or sometimes even the government have had sensitive data on their laptop without encryption, without any kind of security other than the basic security that comes with the operating system and when the laptop's stolen or lost, well, if it's sensitive information, uh, whether it's top secret information or maybe customer information, as, as the case has been in some uh, in some points in the past, uh, y y no one knows what happened to it. No one knows uh, who might get a hold of it, and that's a that's a huge huge threat uh, to your own security. I mean, just because you you may pass something along, you know, online, or you believe that a relationship with a vendor is completely safe not always the case because the person who's handling the data that's that's the weakest link nine times out of ten it's not the software that's going to be problematic it's the person that's handling the software that's likely going to be problematic i think i remember i can't remember the movie but i think i remember someone doing a study where they offered someone a free cup of coffee or like twenty dollars if they gave them their password to get on the network. And people did. They said, sure, I'll take 20 bucks. Here's my password. <laughs> so sometimes it's not the software or the hardware, it's the wetware. It's what's in the brain. So teach yourself, learn how to become more secure, and just don't leave data out in the open. I am looking for recommendations in terms of data security uh, on the laptops or even on the, the 
desktop machines, doesn't matter. Uh, what do you use to secure your operating system or to secure your files? Uh, looking for hardware or software solutions, throw them at me. And I'm sure, uh, what, what was his handle again? Quads for life would also be interested. Uh, it's a, something we all have to think about. Security is very, very important to keep in mind, especially with computing. So uh, leave your recommendations, comments, follow up, and uh, oh, there we go. We've already got people typing in the URL where you can come by and ask questions anytime, day or night. If I don't catch them, hopefully someone else will. We'll, we may be able to answer them. If we haven't already answered them, it's just tons of fun. And the URL, I'll just say it again, just for argument's sake, live.perillo.com.